Thank you very much, uh, Lasky Hirlock, and thank all senators for their contributions uh, here this morning and this afternoon. And I've taken a detailed note of all uh, contributions, and I will, uh, during the course of the committee, get an opportunity to, to respond to many of them. I just want to say um, at the outset, this piece of legislation, um, as Senator Blaney has rightly said, hasn't just come about in the last two months. This follows over two years of direct engagement with uh, homeowners through the various different fora that, that we have set up, uh, through my meetings directly with them, uh, through my uh, own officials, housing agency, uh, the, the, the liaison group chaired by Mr. John O'Connor and others. And I've never seen engagement like it on a piece of legislation to improve a scheme. Uh, and I welcome the constructive remarks of most uh, here today. I want to recognise that, if, that every senator here is obviously every single one, regardless of the nature of their remarks, wants a scheme in place that works for people. That's what I want, fundamentally. And anyone who looks at it will see that there are major, major changes from the old scheme to now, uh, significant. And yes, it is a significant intervention by the state to the tune of about 2.7 billion and potentially more. Uh, and I did, by the way, in October 2021, uh, engage with all opposition parties in the Oireachtas, wrote detailed letters to them, said this to Senator Gavin and Senator Boylan and others, because this is important for the record, because uh, we need the record of the House to be correct uh, on this. And with your own party, I asked specifically for their input into the scheme. Uh, your, housing, your party's housing spokesperson said publicly that he would respond uh, in detail to all of the questions that I put to genuinely seek their input. I still haven't received that response. Uh, so that is important that people know that. So we've moved on uh, with legislation here uh, that I want to and will make sure that it works. And over the summer months, we'll be working on the regulations to underpin that scheme. And as I said in my opening remarks, the scheme itself, of course, will evolve. There is no question. But this provides for 100% redress. It provides for uh, a second grant option, a 40-year guarantee. Uh, that Minister McConnell in particular, Deputy McHugh uh, as well, and others, uh, Deputy Cleary, Senator Blaney, all government senators and TDs in the affected counties advocated so strongly for, in a constructive way, to work on behalf of their constituents, their neighbours, their friends, their families, to bring about the changes that we, actually, that we actually need. And these changes are brought forward here in the bill. Um, I know very, very clearly, because I've engaged with homeowners, uh, how badly they have been affected through this. I do want to address the recourse, by the way, and we will be appointing very shortly a senior council review. And I want those who've caused this problem uh, to be brought to account. I can, I've said that publicly uh, and in the Dáil and in both chambers here in the Shannon. Absolutely I do. Those who've caused this should be paying into the scheme and they should be, and we've got to, uh, and we, will, we are seeking, and as I've stated this, we'll be establishing a senior council review to look at all options in that regard, uh, all options including uh, an industry levy, which we've been working on with the, uh, with the Department of Finance as well. So I just want to clearly just restate you know, what the changes are now. If you look at the entry to the scheme, which was a big issue for homeowners, the original scheme was cost between five and 7,000 to enter the scheme. And lots of people actually paid uh, that, that amount, uh, five to 7,000, we've refunded it. And I made sure that those monies are refunded to them. So we've removed the, fin the financial barrier to entry the scheme, and now uh, we'll be absorbing uh, the cost of, uh, of entry to the scheme, and rightly so. And a homeowner outlay initially to enter the new scheme will be between five and 700 euro, uh, which will a uh, building condition assessment. That's the cost, and will be refunded to them uh, once they are accepted into the scheme. This, is, this will be a national scheme. We've already, we've Clare and Limerick included in the scheme, and uh, uh, Senator Byrne asked, well, what happens? What, hap what happens to Limerick? What happens to Clare? Once the legislation's passed and the regulations are up and running, those counties come into the scheme, and there's a pathway for other counties, should there be problems, uh, to come into the scheme also. Let's be very clear, Senators, as well. Voting against this legislation, as Senator Gallagher has said as well, and others, you vote against this legislation, you're going back to the January 2020 scheme. You're going back to 247,500 grant cap, 90% grant options on all the other 
remediation options, no guarantee, not even a 20-year guarantee, no second grant option, €7,000 to get into the scheme. So we're going back to an imperfect scheme and we would be starting again. Now I would say to Senator Flynn, and I, and I thank her for her remarks uh, here today, is that we accepted a number of Deputy Pringle's amendments in the Dáil, we accepted seven amendments in the Dáil uh, at, at committee in remaining stages, and I'll be open to listen to amendments here as well. What I don't want, though, is an ongoing debate into next year and into the year, of, and, and into the year after about uh, you know, what addition in delaying the, the establishment of the new scheme. And I have said really clearly, particularly in relation to foundations, and anyone who wants to be very clear, have a look at the evidence that was given, uh, the evidence that was given there, um, that should an issue uh, be scientifically proven, and we're doing the testing, the review uh, of, I, of IS465 is underway, and, we're, and we'll be testing foundations. And if a problem comes up there, they'll be included in the scheme. But our, our, our opposition deputies who are opposing and senators who are opposing honestly saying to me that we should include that without the scientific evidence, or secondly, should we wait to get other homes uh, underway and remediated in the intervening period? Now, I'm not responsible for the scientific research, and I think everyone would fully understand that for an inclusion of something like this or not, and to clear that grey area that Senator Blaney has mentioned, we need that done independently, and it is being done independently. Uh, and I haven't had any alternative from, from senators who have, have been uh, you know, putting their point of view, which I respect, forward as to what else would you want me to do? Should I just take the advice of someone, uh, of, of one expert against another, or do we get it done independently? And I think the appropriate thing to do is to have it done independently, assessed in a scientific way. This scheme will be with, and iterations of this scheme into the future will be, in my view, uh, in operation for at least 10 years. For at least 10 years. But we need to get started. We need to get started in Donegal. We need to get started in Mayo. We need to get started in Limerick. We need to get started in Clare. We, we need the housing agency on the ground working with our local authorities. And just for, for senators, and I know Senator Cummins and, and Senator Fitzpatrick are on the JOC. Crown Deputy Pringle, uh, the Minister said that he accepted seven of Deputy uh, Pringle's amendments. That's, uh, for the record, that's not true. To the best of my knowledge, just he accepted one. Point of order. Well, point just, of order, yes. Just to maybe, just to help the Senator, I'm trying to be helpful here. Uh, amendments number 71, 72, 81, Most 94, 106, 111 and 150 were accepted. Maybe not all of them were Deputy Pringle's. Yeah. But a, but a number of them were, and his name was on a number of them. And I actually welcomed his engagement and fairness on it. So it's not a criticism, I think it's just showing that we've, we've accepted amendments in the Dáil, and I would expect that if there are reasonable amendments that we can work in without delaying the establishment of the legislation, uh, we will absolutely uh, be very open to doing so. Uh, what I'll also say in relation to the matters that were raised uh, and by the J Joint Oireachtas Committee, um, I've responded, and our officials responded in detail to the committee last Friday in relation to those items that were raised, and that's a matter for public record, and I, I would expect that uh, senators will be, uh, make themselves au fait with the contents of that response from my department to the, to the Joint Oireachtas Committee. So look, we've, we've moved a really long way, and why are we doing this? We're doing this to help families, to help families, to help them get their lives back on track. I've visited homes uh, affected. I've spoken to homeowners that are affected. Government is not wanting to delay on this, or in any way trying to put hurdles in place to stop people getting their homes done. If anything, we're doing the very opposite. We're actually recognising where the deficiencies were with the original scheme and addressing each and every one of them, whilst absolutely leaving it open. And I said this in my opening remarks, that is a matter of record in the Shannon here as well, there were other issues, should they come uh, to pass, they'll be included in the scheme. Uh, no question on that. And I think if some of the senators op opposite are honest with themselves, have a look at the changes that have been made. Have a look at what I've said. I don't think anyone wants to delay the, the establishment of the new scheme that needs to be underpinned by primary legislation. Remember the last scheme was set up on regulation only, was, you know, was, was actually on, on an unsound footing. So if anyone wants to argue, on, and they're entitled to do it, and I respect that, on Wednesday, that we should put off this scheme I'd be very interested to hear what the basis for those 
uh, arguments will be, because opposing it means this scheme is not in place. It means we go back to January 2020 um, and we, we put off helping people fix their homes and fix their lives. But I thank others, all senators for their contributions, particularly those for their constructive con contributions, both in opposition and specifically my colleagues in government as well. And I look forward to engaging further at Asker Hirlock with, uh, with senators at committee stage later in the week. Thank you, Ms.